Welcome back. So I'm excited to get something printing in the new enclosure. So I'm going to print a small box for a little boost converter I've got. I want to print that and I'm going to print it out of ABS. I've got black ABS filament loaded in. I am printing it. I've never had a print in ABS on any of my machines that didn't warp. I've tried skirts and, br and brims and rafts and you name it. I've tried covering it with a towel and you know what, I've never had one that didn't warp. So right now I have been um, up to print temperature in my enclosure for about 15 minutes. I am printing this with a nozzle temp of 235 and a bed temp of 90. And right now the WP1209 tells me I'm at 40.8 in the enclosure and the O1 OW16B tells me I'm at 41 and you can see that um, I poked the I poked the um, thermistor for the OW16B in there and you can maybe see it kind of just hanging there the one for the W1209 is up there sticking out that's a little thing sticking out just in front of the IKEA hockey puck light thing so Let's get this printed. The, the temperature is still climbing. When I first started making this video, it had just passed from 39 to 40, and now it's at 40.8, 41. So um, it's still climbing. So I'm going to get this printed now. And if it if it warps and I can see it warping, I'll probably go ahead and stop it. But this does not have a raft. This only has a brim. Rafts are kind of a pain in the tush, but um, I'm excited. If this works, I'm going to be amazed. If it doesn't work, I will try the weather stripping, and if that still isn't enough, I'll put a little ceramic heater in it. The um, W1209 will trigger a heater on and off. Let's just see how it works. I'm going to pause this for now, and I will be back. And, um, well, this is exciting. We'll see how this works. Be right back. Okay, we are now about one hour into our um, into our little print that I'm doing about a three and a half hour print a little box for a, um, a small boost converter and temperature is slowly crept up a little bit the W1209 is reporting it at 46.2 the um, O1 is reporting it as 49 and um, we are one hour in and so far we're looking pretty good I'm not seeing any warpage this isn't it's still on the bottom layers this isn't where I would be getting warpage if it did happen anyway so yeah it's 30 C in the room and um, 49 C or 46 depending on which device and which thermistor you want to believe it has been rock solid it's crept up tiny little bits but it has never really dropped more than a half a degree and not even that really so yep be back in another hour or maybe at the end and we'll check to see how this turned out okay the print's done been done for about an hour actually a little over an hour the temperature inside the um, enclosure is still 34 C 29 degrees C outside so it's taken it quite a while to to cool back down even though it still isn't back to room temperature still um, five degrees Celsius above room temperature but um, let's take a look at it. Let me flip the light back on. Let's take a look and see what we got. I have not opened the door yet. Is that, um, that shining through or is it... Can you see that in there? I have absolutely zero warpage of these parts at all. Let me... Um, well, it's kind of hard to see on the mirror bed because it shadows and looks like it's warped. Let me get them out and I'll show them to you. Hang on. Okay, so here are the parts here off the printer and um, I have just cleaned the brim up a little bit and I have a nice bright orange flat surface and I hope you can see that but this thing is absolutely flat all the way across and yes, I checked this with my um, my nice star at square. I know it's flat so that is flat all the way across. Here's the other part. See if I can do this without dropping it for the 37th time. And as you can see, it is flat too. 
I know this isn't a big deal to some of you. Some of you have told me you've got the secret for um, for doing ABS without it being in an enclosure and not having it warp. And some of you have given me your secrets, and I really appreciate that. But they still warp for me. And um, this now does not. So this is kind of a breakthrough for me. It and just because I know some of you guys are going to tell me that the reason I didn't get any warp the last time was because I used a brim, I'm printing another one, slightly different box this time, for the same little, um, same little boost converter board, and printing this one now with nothing but a skirt. And we'll see. Okay, here we go. Printed with just a skirt, no brim, nothing. Let's see what kind of warp we got. And I hope you're able to see this, but um, I am seeing absolutely zero warp. It's got a bloody ugly Z-seam on it, but I guess that's a problem for another video, right? I am not seeing any warp on that at all. Can't quite get around to that. Oh yeah, there we go. There's that side. It's Everything is completely flat. So again, this makes me very happy. I can now work on getting the rest of my... Um, my um, ABS Cura profile worked out so I get a little nicer prints than that. But now that the warp is gone, at least I can, I can get that done. Bye for now.